back from school. Yeah. You have to play that day. What's that frown on your face? Mom, I'm so confused about everything that is going on these days. There's so much going on in the world to confuse somebody. But which one is the one that really, really confuses you? Mom, if something happened at school today. And up until now, I'm still in shock about it. Can we share? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mom, it's terrible. Like, I don't understand. Is it that their parents do not train them well, or maybe they refuse to listen to their parents? Which one? Well, it depends on how you want to look at it. I want to say that some parents have failed their children, while on the other hand, some children have failed their parents. No matter how hard the parents try, they just want to go the other way. This is so sad, Mother. But don't you think that something should be done? Yes, I think so. Parents should um, sit up, those that are not taking care of their children, rise up to the occasion. The same thing with schools. Schools should help. And also the individuals involved should try and turn a new leaf. You know, that way there'll be a kind of um, peace and, you know, in the society. I can't still believe my eyes, mother. Is that why you're 
not done to eat your food. The food is in the kitchen. Come pick it up and eat. Mom, I'm not hungry. No, you're not hungry. Yes. Because of the problems in the society. Mother, because of the end time girls and boys. You think you will solve the problem by not eating? It's fine. time girls. Cynthia. Can I have a word with you? Okay, I'm listening. I saw you at school yesterday. Yes, yesterday was Thursday and I and my friend were at school, just like every other student. Oh, that's not what I meant. I mean to say that I saw you, like I trailed you and your friends to the bush where you went to change your clothes. Where did you go to? Only God knows. Life, no balance. What do you want, Sonia? Cynthia, you're a disappointment to your parents and to your generation at large. Ah, you're a disappointment. End time, girls. You are a bastard. Where is that coming from? I what? said you are a bastard. <laughs> Anyways, feel free to call me whatever you like just to get at me. I don't care. But you have to change your ways before it will be too late for you and your friends. End time girls. I didn't just call you whatever I want. I called you exactly what you are. You can as well ask the woman you see as your mother. Let her tell you whom your biological parents are. Until then, you are not qualified to talk to me. Let alone advise me. Nonsense. Why is your face like this? Mom, someone called me a bastard in school today. Mom, that person must be stupid. She called me a bastard. She's, she called me that name with so much certainty. Mother, please. Tell me the truth. Am I a bastard? Of course not. So, why would she call me a bastard? Mom, please, you need to tell me the truth. I need to know. I need to know who am I? Who is my biological father? Are you even my biological mother? Of course I am your biological mother. Why would you even ask such Then why would someone call me a bastard with so much certainty, because, mother? Because they're stupid. They're stupid? Yes. The man I see as my father, is he really my father? Of, of course he's your father. Mom, you're stuttering. Please, you need to tell me the truth. 
I want to know the truth and nothing but the truth. Tell me. I need to know what's going on. Please, mother, don't hide this from me. I'm an adult. I need to know. Please, tell me. Tell me the truth, mother. Please, I beg you. Mother. Mother, please. I will tell you what you need to know. Okay. My elder brother got married. 18 years ago, he was looking for a child. But something happened before then, during our childhood. We, we got separated. And we never knew each other. Well, when he wanted a child, he tried so hard with a wife. And she just couldn't conceive. So they went to the doctor and the doctor told them that nothing was wrong with them. But there was just one problem. The wife had a weak womb. So there was no way the womb would be able to carry a child. What the doctor said. Maybe I'm okay. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? I'm sorry, sir. If you want to die, I want to die in your house. Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. No, too. Come on, daddy. No, no, too. You shouldn't have spoken to her in that manner now. Eh? Besides, it wasn't her fault, it was yours. It's okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. I'm sorry. 
You should be telling sorry to the innocent girl, not me. And that will make you happy. Find the girl again, she's gone. Yeah. She's gone. Let's go. I'm sorry. Hmm? It's fine, baby. Let's go. Please, I'm sorry, okay? Fine. She'll be asking you that question if you're fine. Okay. <sighs> See, don't worry, right? Everything's gonna be fine. Okay? So, what do we do? How can we get a volunteer? Babe, I'll talk to my mom about this. Are you sure she will agree to that? If she's capable, why not? Of course, we're talking about my happiness and peace of mind here. So why won't she? <sighs> that is all right. When do you intend to go? Mm, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow I see. Maybe should I come with you? I don't think it's necessary, babe. It's not necessary because um, this is a mother and daughter thing. Do you understand? Oh. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine, okay? Hmm? It's alright, baby. Everything should be fine, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus! Baby, I have a nightmare. Nightmare again? Tell me about it. Uh, never mind. It is okay. I'll be fine. Are you sure it's not something else? No, no. Let's sleep. Come, come. Let's sleep.
everything. Yeah. Let's say your mother don't hold. Say I never hold her for help you do. But wait till we go, we we'll go look for somebody. Make her they look, you go they look. Nobody will go help us do her. You understand? But if they look, you look for somebody that we no know you. So that tomorrow, the person will not come to drag your be our picking. I beg. I understand, Mama. I understand. But as I they look, also help me they look. Eh? Um, if you get someone, I go pay the person better money. Okay? Yeah. Help me they look, Mama, please. Eh? Fine. I go look for you. All right, Mama. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Ma. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? I'm sorry, sir. If you want to die, I want to die in your house. Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. No, too. Come on, Daddy. No, no, too. You shouldn't have spoken to her in that manner now. Eh? Besides, it wasn't her fault, it was yours. It's okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. I'm sorry. You should be telling sorry to the innocent girl, not me. You know you're the most beautiful woman on earth. I want you to go inside there and break that record while coming out, okay? <laughs> Maybe you can't stop flattering me. Mm? No, I can't. You know you have a business angel. meeting and you're late already, so come and start going a bit. Alright, no problem. I will go, but I will call you and to see if you're done. And when you're done, I will come here and pick you, okay? Alright, All right. safe, eh? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Just like that. Just like what? Huh? Nyoma, you just walk past me as if you don't know who I am. And how do you want me to just walk past you? How do you want me to do that? Well, that's by the way. What about what we discuss? Chooks. My answer still remains the same. I don't have time for thin of hats. Chooks, have a nice day. No, 
Which can get be this now? My wife is too smart and intelligent. She knew I have been lying to her as to what is bothering me. I think it's high time I open up to her. I have to tell her the truth so that I don't add to her psychological problems. She has not been herself too because of her inability of giving me a child. I think I need to open up to her. Baby, call me. Yeah. I should sit down. There is something I've been keeping from you. And I think it's high time I told you the truth. Okay, I'm listening. You remember my sister that I told you that died when we were small? Of course I do. <coughs> I was the person that killed her. What? How? No, listen, listen. Literally, I did not kill her. All right? Um, that was the cause of her death. Well, when we were children, we were playing. And uh, along the line, I decided to play a prank on them. I checked for her everywhere. I searched for her. But I could not find her. Until one day a call came in. That she was knocked down by a ritualist. Who took her body away. That was how I lost my only sister. I keep having this nightmare every night. I cannot sleep. The cute keep killing me. Oh, baby. I understand how hard it is um, trying to free yourself from that guilt. Yes, I understand. But it wasn't your fault. Obviously, you played a prank every other child could have played. So how was it your fault you lost her? Hmm? You just have to try to forgive yourself and move on. If you should continue like this, how do you now want me to, to cope with this uh, situation of childlessness? How do you want me to cope? Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you so much for coming. It's okay. You're my good customer, Tom Friend. So when you called me and said it was urgent, I had to come. I have no choice. Oh, thank you very much. Thank You're you. Welcome. You're welcome. So, Sharon, what is it? Lizzie, I need a surrogate's mom. I went to the hospital last week and the doctor said my womb is spoiled. I can't have a child. Yeah, so sorry. He said I can't carry a child, Lizzie. But you know I am married. Yeah, I'm married. Even if I agree to this, my husband will not agree to that. And you know it. Lizzie, not see you. There's this girl I met at your shop yesterday. Noma. Please, can you help me talk to her? Just help me convince her to carry the baby for me. I'll pay her 1.5 million. 
It's okay, Sharon. I've heard all you said. When I'm going right now, I'll call her to know where she is. I'll talk to her. Then I'll know her response. Thank you so much, Lizzie. <laughs> Thank you. I it's appreciate it. Okay, you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Come on. Cheer up. Okay, cheer up. Thank you, Lizzie. It's fine. It's fine. Outside. Don't worry, no ma. I'm okay here. I'm fine. This one you come to my house, I'll know I hope all is well. All is well. I know you'll be wondering why I came to see you. Uh, you're my madam now. You can come to my house at any time. But I hope all is well. Yeah, all is well. Um have you heard of a term called surrogacy? Uh yeah, I think this uh, process whereby a woman carries a child for another woman. Exactly. Um, this is my friend who seriously needs someone to carry a child for her because her womb is weak. Not just that, she's willing to pay 1.5 billion naira. I felt this money can change your life for good. Really? Yes, if you're willing to. Willing to do it, ma? What? Come on, Noma. Think about it. 1.5 million naira. There's nothing to think about here, madam. I am not interested. Ha! Mba, mba. Mm -mm. I cannot do such a thing. Oh, I, I have heard what you said. Mm. What is 1.5 million naira talking about? Mm. I, I, I know if it. I cannot. <laughs> no, I can't. Sorry. Mm -mm. Thank you, it's ma. It's fine. Mm. I'll take my leave now. Okay, ma. But no ma, you have to think about it. I am not thinking about anything, ma. I don't want. One point five million naira. Carry somebody else's child. You, you Seth, you no go carry somebody else's child. At least you were not born. They don't confirm say you did. You can give birth. Top of another one five hundred thousand to be gone two million. You can carry child for you. Hello, ma je. God forbid. Everything in Noma. Noma, everything. Bad, good, everything in Noma. Hello? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? So what did she say? Tell her I'll pay five million. Yes, five million. Please try as much as you can to convince her, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. No say you no go past this picking, which she never gets. Chai. Oh my God. I pay give this woman picking. Eh? Give her picking, make she just be happy like other mothers. Chai. <sighs> the doctor then advised them to get a child through surrogacy. You know what surrogacy means? Yes, mother. Okay, so um, they reached out to me. The, the offer was good, so I, I decided to do it for them. But at that point, I didn't even know that we were siblings. a dream to further my academics. If I collect this five million naira, 
even if it does not see me through the university. It will get me closer to graduation, but, but, but what if this backfires? What if I die during childbirth? <sighs> anyway, the life itself is a risk. So, I'll take this money. Five million is big money. Yeah. Your face looks very familiar. Have we met somewhere? Yes, baby. She's the girl you almost knocked down the other day when we were coming back from the hospital now. <laughs> oh my God. This is a small world. I realized I was wrong. I was looking for everywhere to see you. To say sorry, but I could not find you. It's okay, sir. That has in the past now. It's okay, please. It's wow. Okay. What a small word. Honestly. <laughs> You're welcome. Um... Uh, again, thank you for accepting to do this for us. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, you will get something from them. All right? All right. Please make yourself comfortable. Please get something from them. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> so this will be your room for now, okay? Okay, ma. Okay. Just feel comfortable. All right. Make yourself comfortable, okay? Okay, ma. Then if you need anything, you let me know, all right? Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I brought food for you. <laughs> hey, Ma. You're papering me too much, eh? But I'm not comfortable with this. I can do all this myself. Why are you complaining? I've not even started taking care of you and you're complaining already. It makes me look lazy. I who said you're lazy. Hmm? Beside, you're carrying our child. So it's my duty to take proper care of you. 
Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Huh? You know what? Then we can make vegetable soup for you. I'm coming. Eh? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's too much. Oh. Huh. Come, these people. Is kicking very well. Sure. Yeah, that's good. That's good to hear. Anyway, I, I got you this. Sir, this is becoming too much. Hmm? You buy something for me almost on daily basis. Listen, it's nothing, okay? Just relax and enjoy it. You deserve more than this. Thank you, sir. I like, I like that smile I've seen on your face. That's good. <laughs> uh, Thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. Um, enjoy yourself, all right? Okay. I think I have to run right now. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah.
need to come back. You're I don't regret this. Something is wrong. This is not her. I came to inform you that I'll be traveling and I'll be off for like two weeks. I hope all is well. No, no, nothing to worry about, just a business meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just make yourself comfortable and take care of yourself, okay? Yes. All right. And, and most importantly, my child, okay? Take good care of yourself and my baby. All right. All right, I'll catch you. <laughs> yeah. Safe right. journey. Yes, okay. I'm so sorry, like I've been I've been passing through a lot lately. I'm deeply sorry, okay? I'm so so sorry. Um I've been passing through a lot, like through a lot. My mom had a kidney failure. I'm so sorry. I did not know. I did not know. I'm so sorry about that. Thank you, Noma. Thank you. Um like I've been depressed. I've been so so depressed. Uh, please, Ma, calm down. It's going to be fine. 
God will heal her, okay? Thank it you. will be fine. Thank you. Thank you for the word of encouragement. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. By the way, this is your drugs. Okay. The doctor said you should take two in the morning, two at night. Please don't forget to take them, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Have you eaten something? Yes, I have. Yes, ma'am. I have. It's all right. Please make sure you take these drugs, okay? All right, I'll do that right there. Just, I'll take it now. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope you understand everything I said. Sure. So make sure she doesn't leave this place. Okay. Whatever she wants, you get it for her. I'm going to send some money into your account. Okay? Alright. So anything where she wants, I just arrange her. Of course. 
No wala na. I do for you. Good afternoon, sir. What was it? Well, how are you? Fine, sir. Okay, no. I'll get my bread for you and bread. Don't worry. I will get something better than bread for you, okay? Okay, sir. 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 What is all this? What is this? What is this? What is this? <sighs> Shit, what is
come to my house and I hope all is well. All is well. I know you'll be wondering why I came to see you. Uh, you're my madam now. You can come to my house at any time. But I hope all is well. Yeah, all is well. Um, have you heard of a term called surrogacy? Uh, yeah, I think this uh, process whereby a woman carries a child for another woman. Exactly. Um, this is my friend who seriously needs someone to carry a child for her because her womb is weak. Not just that, she's willing to pay 1.5 billion naira. I felt this money can change your life for good. Really? Yes, if you're willing to. Willing to do it, Ma? What? Come on, Noma. Think about it. 1.5 million naira. There's nothing to think about here, madam. I am not interested. Ha! Mba, mba. I cannot do such a thing. Oh, I, I have heard what you said, mm. Mama. But it's 1.5 million naira talking about. Mm. I, I, I know fit. I cannot. <laughs> no, I can't. Sorry. Thank you, Mama. It's ma. fine. Mm. I'll take my leave now. Okay, Ma. But, Noma, you have to think about it. I am not thinking about anything, Ma. 1.5 million naira. I don't want. Bye. One point five million naira. Carry somebody else's child. You, you Seth, you no go carry somebody else's child. At least you were not born. They don't confirm say you you can give birth. Top of another one five hundred thousand to be gone two million. I okay, carry child for you. Hello, my dear. What for? dream to further my academics. If I collect this five million naira, even if it does not see me through the university, it will get me closer to graduation. But, but, but what if this backfires? What if I die during childbirth? Anyway, the life itself is a risk. So, I'll take this money. Five million is big money. Yeah. Your face looks very familiar. 
Have you met somewhere? Yes, baby. She's the girl you almost knocked down the other day when we were coming back from the hospital now. <laughs> oh my God, this is a small word. I realized I was wrong and was looking for everywhere to see you, to say sorry, but I could not find you. It's okay, sir. That hasn't been passed now. It's okay, please. It's wow. Okay. What a small word. Honestly. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, again, thank you for accepting to do this for us. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, you will get something from them. All right? All right. Please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Please get something from them. All right. I'll be right back. the child but during that period there were so many problems during the pregnancy but to God be the glory I was able to carry you through through the term and then Now, how come 
my sister. Now, Maka, I told you. Auntie Lizzie! Auntie Lizzie, my brother is away! It was after I gave birth to you that I found out that or we found out that we were siblings. So my brother said, take care of my daughter while I go for a meeting in Abuja with my wife. What happened? I never made it back. What? There was an accident and they both died on the spot. Oh my God. And then your stepfather came and proposed to me. And I said to him, my little girl is part of the equation. If you want to marry me, you have to take us all in. And he accepted. Really? I, um, we tried to have babies on our own, but it wasn't meant to be. Because I kept having miscarriages. And he said, it's okay. I wouldn't want you to lose your life all because you want to have a baby when God has already given us a baby. He said, let's put all we have into taking care of you and ensuring you have a good education so you can be useful to us and the entire world. <sighs> but that's how come <sighs> we are one family today. Mother, can I see? <laughs> This is so bad. I said you, I, I feel really bad. It's okay. There's nothing to feel bad about. You kill them. Okay, okay, it's fine. Can I see a picture of him? Do you have a picture of him? Let me just take a glance, please. I do. Okay. On my phone. He was so handsome. Just Can I like take our father. Mother, he's so cute. <laughs> Said it. All right? It's okay. So if anyone calls you a bastard, you know that you're not a bastard. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I love you. I love you too, mother. 